he just wanted like the best for everybody. Like he always said, there's never a bad kid. There's just bad situations and like stupid decisions. But like everybody needs somebody there, and that was him most of the time. Well, Danny's family. He has um, six brothers and sisters, and and one sister that his family adopted, and all of them are in ministry. Um, they the girls either married a minister or the men are in ministry and somebody asked him and he goes my ministry is the school and that's that's where I'm called to be right after so many people just text messages hey I'm here for you or like stories just like hey like I know this is hard but and then telling me like a funny story or something that happened I feel so much support at the school because like I spend so much time here and I spent so much time here even before I came to school here that all the people are kind of like family. When I looked up after the funeral and saw his players from that, that team in Franklin County the first couple of teams it was incredible that they were there because that was that was 2002 and it was 2018 these were grown men with families and one of the things that I asked was write me a letter or, or just write me a memory about Danny or something that I can share with my kids and so my grandkids will know who their grandfather was not from me I mean I had them the funeral the service was on Sunday and Tuesday afternoon I had letters from them. I mean they went I think maybe one and nine that year and they said and he didn't let us hold our head down. We walked away with so much more than just football. <laughs>